I'm Tracy Matthews, I'm a women's health physio based here at the White Hart Clinic. I'm with Dr. Eloise Elphinstone and we're going to go through some questions that I always get asked with regards to vaginal oestrogen. So, if I can first ask you, what is vaginal oestrogen? So, vaginal oestrogen is a low dose oestrogen, which I wouldn't class as HRT because it's such low dose. But it's, it's a cream or a pessary, mostly, that can be used vaginally, so it's localised to help symptoms that have, affect the vaginal region. So a lot of people think it's HRT, it's not. It's a, it's a safe option in a lot of people to help with vaginal symptoms. Wow, and what can it actually help, what symptoms can it actually help with? So, it, it can help with a variety of symptoms. So when you get low or lack of oestrogen around the vaginal region, which can happen after having a baby, um, during the perimenopause and menopause, the whole area can dry out. So that can lead to dry vaginal symptoms, which can make soreness, it can cause um, cuts around the vaginal region, which can be really excruciating, even to the point where it's painful to put on trousers, painful to sit down. It can make sex painful because it's so dry and sore and actually having a smear test or putting in a pessary can be really painful. In addition, because around the same areas where you weave, you can get quite a few vagina um, urinary symptoms. So feeling like you need to go to the loo more often, pain when you go to the loo, itching down below. And often these can be misdiagnosed as urinary tract infections, um, thrush, and so people get antibiotics or thrush treatment, which actually makes no difference at all. And it's because of the dry symptoms and that needs to be treated. Some people actually do have recurrent urinary tract infections where bacteria are picked up. But again, often that can be still due to the lack of um, oestrogen. So we often recommend these people get vaginal oestrogens um, to try and stop these recurrent infections coming. Fantastic. And you've explained a little bit about this, but how does it actually work? So <clears throat> we have oestrogen receptors all over our body, um, including around the vagina, around the bladder, around the urethra. So by giving oestrogen back to those receptors, it helps therefore boost up the oestrogen locally in the area, which in itself makes you um, produce more lubrication, so that can help with the pain. It also, the increased lubrication can change the acidity slightly of the vagina, which can reduce the risk of infections. So it's ultimately called increasing the moisture, the lubrication to stop these dry symptoms, which then helps the other symptoms on top. Fantastic. And can you, I know you've got a few things yes. in front of you. Can you demonstrate, because they all come in different um, topics, don't they? So yeah. can you demonstrate for us how they're applied or how you apply them? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of different options. Um, mostly to see what suits each person individually. So just to go through a couple. So one option is pessaries. So a pessary basically means a little tablet or a, a, there's a slightly larger pessary here, which are popped up into the vagina. So you, it comes with an applicator. You pop the applicator in as if you're putting in a tampon and the little pessary sits then up in the vagina. I often recommend doing it at night. Um, firstly, so it, try, it stays in and doesn't fall out. And secondly, because it can lead to some discharge. So if it's at night, it causes less stickiness. The other option is, so when people are really dry, sometimes a pessary is sore to get up. So there's another option of a cream that comes with um, an applicator as well. You could put the applicator with the cream high up into the vagina, but also you can use the cream right on the outside. You can use it where you wee, and that can cause lubrication, but also moisturise the area, which can help with some of the symptoms. I don't have an example, but there is another option which can be work really well in some people, which is a ring. It's a vaginal oestrogen ring. It sits up. You can often put it up yourself. It gets changed every three months and it produces a low dose of oestrogen, often less sticky than some of these options. Um, the only thing I would say is sometimes if you're still having sexual intercourse, it can get in the way a little mm -hmm. bit, but it can be another really good option for some people. 
And can that, that be used with a vaginal pessary for a pelvic organ? Absolutely. Okay. So um, using e any of these, either prior to putting it in, to help popping it in um, to make it less uncomfortable, but also to help um, with the vaginal dryness can be really useful. It can also be used prior to having a smear test done. So I have to recommend two weeks before to use it. And again, that can help it become be less sore. Oh, wow, brilliant. Um, so I always get asked this question in clinic, is it safe? Because everybody worries about their connection to breast cancer. Um, so is it safe? So it's a really good question. Um, I think people do get worried. I think also the leaflets that go inside mm. the oestrogen, the, the vaginal oestrogens, are quite inaccurate. They are basically talking about any type of oestrogen. But as I said earlier, this is a very low dose, localised oestrogen. So generally it's safe. There is no increased risk of blood clots, which sometimes the leaflet says. You don't need to take progesterone alongside it. Um, it can be used long term, and actually I really recommend if people are using it and it's working, not to stop it. Mm -hmm. The dry vaginal symptoms, particularly if it's around the menopause, carry on longer term, so you can keep going with this long term. Um, and then the big question is from a breast cancer side of things. So the studies are generally saying that this does not increase the risk of breast cancer or recurrence of breast cancer. So in the majority of people, even if they've had breast cancer, it is certainly an option. I would normally say it's worth speaking to your oncologist and your menopause specialist to make sure it is safe for you. There are some occasions, so somebody's been on certain medications such as letrozole um, after having breast cancer, we try and avoid using it. Um, but the majority of cases it is safe and it is an option for somebody, um, which is um, really important to people who have breast cancer, often have treatment and can be struggling with symptoms. Yeah, definitely. And so my next question leads into what are the other alternatives? Yeah. If somebody, is there a case, what are the indications that they cannot use, the, other than what you've mentioned, that they cannot use the vaginal estrogen? what other alternatives? Yeah. I mean there's very few times when you can't use it completely, obviously we talked about breast cancer, if you've got undiagnosed vaginal bleeding, but there are also some people who just don't want to use vaginal oestrogens. Um, th these other things that I'm going to mention I'd also recommend using alongside as well. So the first thing I would say to avoid using any soaps, any fem washes in that area, it can cause irritation, it can dry the area out. So I'd recommend just washing with um, a moisturising cream, so something such as Hydromol or Epiderm that you moisturise, um, you wash with, you massage with. Um, and then there are also some vaginal moisturisers that you can use. And I've got a couple of examples here. Um, it's very individual of what people want. But there's one called Olive and Bee, there's one called Yes, and there's one called Silk. And these are all... Um, very good for the vaginal area because they don't have irritants. Some of the ones that are prescribed or over the counter can be quite irritating for the area. So these are very gentle. They come as a moisturiser, so you use as if you're moisturising your skin. Um, and then also they come as a lubricant, so you can use it during sex as well. Um, so those would be the main things that I'd recommend if you can't use or as well as using vaginal oestrogens. Fantastic. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, if you'd like to know any more information about the doctor um, and Louise Elphinstone or the menopause care team, you can have a look. Is it www.menopausecare.co.uk? Um, if you'd like to know any more about the White Heart Clinic services, you can just go to our website, which is www.whiteheartclinic.co.uk. I'll put all the information down below. Um, so if you've got any questions, you can always put our contact details there. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.